So I hope you enjoyed the critical thinking video with uh, the director of Skeptic Organization. Now we're going to look at science and we're going to look at science as a method of acquiring knowledge. Um, science is a specific method that needs to be followed in problem solving um, and acquiring a body of knowledge and we do that through empirical knowledge. Empir empirical knowledge is knowledge that relies on direct observation and that direct observation can come through any of our five senses. Science assumes determinism and the definition of determinism is an assumption made by scientists that all events have causes. Discoverability is an assumption made by scientists that the causes of events can be discovered by applying scientific methods and of course that's why the intelligent uh, model that they were talking about in that video is not considered um, a good model is because it doesn't rely on it, it's dis, it uh, tries to explain something other than through um, scientific method. Science makes systematic observations and those are very orderly observation. When we think about systematic, think about organized or orderly. Science produces public knowledge. In your book it talked about um, people publishing their findings as they do research so that others in the field would have a chance to um, verify that and to read it to know that uh, so they could like replicate it or make sure that they thought it was true. Objectivity is said to exist when observations can be verified by more than one observer and um, we know that publishing those in those peer-reviewed uh, journal articles gives them that opportunity. Science produces data-based uh, conclusion science is a self-correcting process so it doesn't always come up with the right answer but if not um, they keep they keep working on it until they get the right one um, when you look at this and also science produces tentative conclusions when you look at this one of the things that comes to my mind is um, several years back when women went through menopause they did the um, hormone replacement therapy and we now know that some of the side effects are worse than what they were going through the reason that they were prescribing the hormone therapy so there's a, a change in whether or not they would do that today so that's a self-correction science asks answerable questions yes no questions if it's not something that you can have a uh, an yes no answer to then you're not going to be able to come up with a uh, a question that can be answered by making these um, observations. Science develops theories that can be disproven. Falsification is a research strategy that emphasizes putting theories to the test by trying to disprove them and uh, sometimes that's the easiest way to prove it is by trying to disprove it. Um, Darwin did some research that we'll talk about in this next slide and his research was actually um, proved again a hundred years later by someone who was trying to disprove them rather than prove them. The goals of research in psychology First of all, a description, so a portrayal of a situation or a phenomenon. If we use Darwin's, um, when we think of Darwin, we tend to think about um, evolution, but he also did a study over facial expressions, and he proved that those were pretty universal. So for an explanation, that might be why the phenomenon exists or what causes it. The prediction um, if you look at an eclipse, we can predict when an eclipse will occur based on the knowledge of the movement of the sun and the earth. And in psychology, we might want to be able to predict when someone's going to have a psychological disorder or something like that.